the world is all messed up, the nation is sick, trouble is in the land, confusion all around. Something is happening in our world. The masses of people are rising up, and wherever they are assembled today, whether they are in Johannesburg, South Africa, Nairobi, Kenya, Accra, Ghana, New York City, Atlanta, Georgia, Jackson, Mississippi, or Memphis, Tennessee, the cry is always the same, we want to be free. everybody to see that there are 1,300 of God's children here suffering, sometimes going hungry, going through dark and dreary nights, wondering how this thing is going to come out. That's the issue. And we've got to say to the nation, we know how it's coming out. But when people get caught up with that which is right, and they are willing to sacrifice for it, there is no stopping point. We went before the fire hoses. We had known water. If we were Baptists or some other denomination, we had been immersed. If we were Methodists and some others, we had been sprinkled, but we knew water. That couldn't stop us. Say, God sent us by him to say to you that you're not treating his children right. And we come by here to ask you, to make the first item on your agenda fair treatment where God's children are concerned. Now, if you are not prepared to do that, we do have an agenda that we must follow. Be concerned about your brother. You may not be on strap. But either we go up together or we go down together. Let us rise up tonight with a greater readiness. Let us stand with a greater determination. Let us move on in the Powerful days, these days of challenge, make America what it ought to be. We have an opportunity to make America a better nation. And some began to say the threats, or talk about the threats that were out. What would happen to me from some of our sick white brothers. Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. 